kids, welcome back to Teacher Shea's channel. Join me in a day of fun and learning. Hi kids! Our lesson for today is about pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Tables and graphs are visual representations of data. They are used to show the relationships of information. They are used to compare two or more values in an organized way. In this lesson, you are expected to interpret pictographs, simple graphs, and tables. Study this table. Trina's sister is a baker. She bakes different goodies and sells them to her friends and neighbors. On Mother's Day, she sold different flavors of crinkles. This table shows the crinkles sold by Trina's sister on Mother's Day. First question, what is the title of the table? Good job! The title of the table is Crinkles Sold on Mother's Day. Second, how many flavors of crinkles are presented? Excellent! There are five flavors of crinkles presented on our table. For your first activity, I want you to answer the questions based on the table that I have shown you. Number 1. Which flavor of crinkles has the most number of boxes sold? Very good! Chocolate flavor of crinkles has the most number of boxes sold. Number 2. Which flavors of crinkles have the same sales? Excellent! Red velvet and buko pandan flavor have the same sales. Number 3. How many boxes of Yema crinkles were sold? Good job! There are 13 boxes of Yema crinkles sold. Number 4. Which flavor of crinkles have the least sales? Excellent! Ube flavor has the least sale. Number 5. How many boxes of crinkles were sold on Mother's Day? Good job! Trina's sister sold 69 boxes of crinkles on Mother's Day. For your second activity, here is the situation. The PE teacher of Sampaguita Elementary School conducted a survey on the favorite sports of the grade 3 students. The teacher asked them to choose only one among the given sports, basketball, running, football, swimming, or tennis. I want you to study the graph then answer the questions that follow. Write only the letter of your answers. Here is the table presenting the favorite sports of grade 3 students. First question, what is the title of the graph? A. Favorite sports of grade 3 students B. Number of students Or letter C. Kind of sports Excellent! The title of the graph is Favorite Sports of Grade 3 Students. Number 2. Which is the most favorite sport of the Grade 3 students? Is it A. Swimming, B. Basketball, or letter C. Tennis? Good job! According to the table, the most favorite sport of the Grade 3 students is Basketball. Number 3. Which is the least favorite sport of the grade 3 students? Is it A. Running, B. Football, or letter C. Tennis? Very good! The least favorite sport of the grade 3 students is running. Number 4. Which two sports have the same results? A. Basketball and swimming, 
B. Running and Tennis or letter C. Football and Swimming Excellent! Football and Swimming have the same results Number 5. How many students were asked on the survey? Is it A. 35 B. 37 or letter C. 40 Good job! 40 students were asked on the survey. Graphs and tables have a title that tells us what the graph or the table is about. It also has labels showing the contained data. For your third activity, here is the situation. Ramirez family donated face masks to their neighboring barangays as part of their advocacy to prevent the spread of virus. Study the pictograph, then answer the questions that follow. Here is the pictograph presenting the donated face mask of Ramirez family. First question, what is the title of the pictograph? Excellent! The title of the pictograph is Donated Face Masks of Ramirez Family. Number 2. How many barangays received donations of face masks? Good job! There are 5 barangays who received the donations of face masks. Number 3. How many boxes of face masks did Barangay Pag-asa receive? Very good! Barangay Pag-asa received 40 boxes of face mask. Number 4. Which barangay has the highest number of face masks received? Excellent! Barangay Payapa received the highest number of face masks. For your fourth activity, Sita saves some of her daily allowance to buy a gift for her parents' anniversary. She keeps saving every week for six weeks. Study the pictograph, then answer the questions that follow. Here is the pictograph showing Sita's weekly savings. First question, what is the title of the pictograph? Excellent! The title of the pictograph is Sita's Weekly Savings. Number 2, how much did she save in week 3? Good job! Sita saved 500 pesos on week 3. Number 3, which weeks did Sita save the same amount of money? Very good! Sita saved the same amount of money in weeks 2 and week 4. Number 4. Which week did she save the highest amount? Excellent! Sita saved the highest amount on week 3. Number 5. How much is her total savings for 6 weeks? Good job! Sita has saved 1,800 pesos in all. And to end our discussion for today, I want you to remember that tables and graphs are visual representations of data that shows the relationships of information. They have title that tells what the graph or table is about. It has a label that shows the kind of data presented. 
pictograph is a type of graph that uses symbols or pictures in presenting data. It has a key that shows how much each symbol stands for. I hope you understand our lesson for today and I hope that you enjoyed watching and listening. See you in our next class. Bye! Thank you for watching today's video. Hope to see you in our next class.